Good day students, welcome back to our class. Are you ready for another learning journey? If you are, then let's get started. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the classical music composer. Short review before we go straight to the classical composers. If you still remember our discussion about classical music, so when we say classical music, it was greatly influenced by the revolution and occurred in the European countries. Composer during this time created music through trying some new techniques and ideas. However, classical music was not invented, but rather it evolves throughout the years. So under electronic music, we have this technique called concrete music. So the first classical composer is Franz Joseph Haydn, a Austrian composer who was one to develop the classical music and establish the style and form of the string quartet and symphony. Became a choir singer at a young age at St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, a court musician at Esterhazy Palace. He was also known for being the mentor of known figures such as Beethoven. Here are some of his famous compositions. Symphony Number no. 94, The Surprise, Symphony number no. 100, Military, Symphony number no. 101, The Clock, and Symphony number no. 103, Drum Roll. The second one is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He is also an Austrian composer and artist from classical period who was considered as a renowned prodigy of his era. This is for being able to show exceptional musical skills and talents which greatly contributed in shaping classical music. At a young age, he was able to perform in public guided by his musician and teacher, Father Leopold. He was a talented musician who could play large variety of instruments. He composed 600 works, which include sonatas, symphonies, masses, chamber music, piano music, operatic music, choral music, concerto, and operas. His music can be identified by simple texture called homophonic music. His works show mastery of creating mood, drama, and atmosphere, and can also be identified with clarity, balance, and transparency. Here are some of his famous compositions. Serenade number no. 13, Symphony number no. 40, First Movement Allegro, Overture to the Marriage of Figaro. The third classical composer is Ludwig van Beethoven. Like Mozart, perhaps most of you have heard of his name. So Beethoven was a German composer and pianist during the transition period between the classical and Roman eras. He was the one to discover and widen the scope of sonata, symphony, concerto, and quartet. Also, he combined vocal and instruments in an innovative and creative way. Though he was struggling with fast-progressing deafness, he was able to compose a lot of musical pieces. His talents and skills helped him with his lounging and fans. He was considered as one of the greatest composer of all time. And we can all agree 
to that given his physical disability. Here are some of his famous compositions. Symphonies number no. 3 to 8, Moonlight Sonata, Kreutzer, The Pastoral, Fedeleo, and Fur Elise. So I hope you get inspired by the life of the classical musicians and you too can become great in your own way. So that's it for today. See you next time. Thank you for listening. Keep safe and God bless. Goodbye.